All right, so we got Skull and Bones official gameplay overview trailer. Let's get to the video. All right, now I'll be honest. Um, I haven't really been paying attention to this game. Now I have seen this game float around. During the second Never really paying attention to it. So piracy. And let's go. These waters, you will stake your claim. Skull and Bones is a gritty and immersive pirate action RPG experience, offering okay. rags to riches fantasy and a vast open world that can be experienced in solo and in co op. Okay. In it, you will rise the ranks of the pirate world and become Ooh, the most okay. fearsome kingpin of the high seas. In this overview of Skull and Bones' gameplay experience, we'll walk you through it. Okay, this is definitely its new. Player progression, gameplay systems, and its challenging naval combat. So it's like a pirate, or just like a pirate game, okay? Surviving the odds. I wonder Your if this has like a story mode. In the middle of a devastating battle on the lawless seas. Bro, and bro, they're just letting the cannons off, bro. Defeat, you and other survivors find yourselves shipwrecked on a remote and perilous island. Here, you'll choose your captain and begin your new life of piracy with your first mate, Asna. The wind favors the fearless. Let us chase it. She will use her extensive seafaring experience and knowledge of the Indian Ocean to guide you in your quest for riches and infamy. hey bro look at bro the graphically it looks nice in bro look at that bones, water increasing your infamy is an ongoing objective that you'll pursue uh -oh. infamy is the center of player progression the more infamous you become the more opportunities open up across the world allowing you to build more impressive ships to take on riskier contracts and to gain untold riches as you ascend the pirate ranks. Begin your pirate journey, okay. After escaping the shipwreck, you will approach the Red Isle and discover the pirate den of St. Anne, which offers up a first taste of pirate culture. Okay. Bottom feeder washes a okay. In St. Anne, you'll find vendors such as the blacksmith, refiner, and more. Okay, By so speaking to the shipwright, you'll be tasked with gathering the materials to build your first pirate vessel. Oh snap. So you bring like I your own ship. The mightiest ship in the Indian Ocean. But how you steer it into the waves is up to you, Captain. All ships in Skull and Bones have unique perks and a wealth of customization options to suit different playstyles. Weapons like the long gun excel at sniping enemy weak points from a distance, while demi cannons act like ship mounted shotguns. Oh. Likewise, armor has different. This is definitely different, though. I like this. From flooding to fire, explosive, and. That looks nice. Resistance. I can't lie to you. Higher tier armor will even grant you perks. Hey, that gold on a pirate ship? Bro. For a range of effects, including That's crazy. I like that a lot. For your crew and quicker reload times. Your ships are the heart of your adventure, and to compete for supremacy of the ocean, you must expand your fleet for the many challenges ahead. With your Beda crafted and customized, it's time to set sail. Select your prey. Man, this looks good, man. I cannot lie to you. Out in open waters, you'll come face to face with Skull and Bones' most visceral gameplay element, uh -oh. naval battles. What's Throughout that? the Indian Ocean, you'll encounter other players battling, exploring... Oh, wait, this is online too? Objectives. I thought you this was like single player, like PvE. Both in solo and in co-op. And if you find yourself facing overwhelming odds, you can fire a signal to rally nearby pirates to your cause. Bring oh, snap. Together to increase your chances of success. Oh, snap. So, like, other people can join you. Or, you, or like, y'all can all your jump like one ship. We'll have you tracking and attacking gatherer ships at any time. Hey, that looks hard. Y'all see that? Course. Whether to investigate mysteries or to test your I was just about to say, I wonder how big the map is, bro. Because like if it's like a if it's like the Indian Ocean, bro, the Indian the Ocean bro, is is humongous, bro. Ship rank and like brother. with your spyglass. Pirates don't play fair. And you should use whatever intel you have to your advantage. Choose the right combination of ship and customization for each challenge, which will help you navigate. Bro, they let those cannons go, bro. 
They let those cannons go. Imagine that, bro. Who knew what would happen? A, a pirate art, like a pirate role-playing game. Who knew? Beyond being an ocean of danger. Look at bro. Look at the sun glare off the water. Of possibility. You'll discover wrecks that can be salvaged for silver and other resources, and encounter dynamic events like wealthy merchant convoys with powerful warship escorts. Hey, I'm impressed, bro. I'm impressed so far. I'm impressed, bro. Honestly. Back on land, keep your ears open for tall tales of ghastly glows and terrors from the deep. Bro, they got the Loch Ness monster in here. Of infamy and rare loot. The choice of risk versus what they got Moby Dick in here is yours to take. If you want to test your metal against other players, seek out treasure maps. A treasure map! Luck is with us! Finding one will automatically trigger PvP and mark your location, allowing others to hunt you down. Oh, it's, so that's like a most wanted basically. That's tough. Wit your opponents and earn legendary troves of loot. All for oh, y'all see that, bro? Y'all see how the sun was g glaring off the trees? Say, were you ever in old Saint John? Saint John, old Saint John. Eat what you find and you drink what you can. Only in old Saint John. Hey. Only in old Saint John. Kingdoms and king pens. In due time, your growing infamy will have you working with vicious pirate kingpins like John Skurlock. I could really use a new captain now. Uh-oh. Heard you swap that leaky tub of yours. Talk of your deeds grows louder. The kingpins are your entry to the world of higher stakes piracy. Oh. A glimpse of how he just smoked that dude like can truly be. like what? Bring you riskier contracts with even greater rewards. You seek fortune with me, and we shall reap spoils greater than the wealth. Oh no, nah, you are dangerous, bro. Pally. It's yours. We can become anything we want to be. I would have worked with Captain Hook. We'll have you plundering dangerous forts and faction settlements. These multi-stage battles are some of the most difficult. Bro, you, bro, my God. Hey, the biggest, bro. The is that a flamethrower? What was that? Odds are stacked against you. It's worth calling on reinforcements and teaming up with other players. Will hey, the physics they did with those cannons, bro. Like the effects on them, bro, is amazing, bro. Hey, this looks good, bro. They're showing us a little gameplay. I respect it. Remove the seas, okay. As your notoriety reaches to further corners of the Indian Ocean, you'll have amassed riches, a fearsome reputation, and a devastating fleet of ships. Next, you sail for glory and legacy. They want to call me a pirate, a rebel. A threat to the Empire. Oh, they're calling her a school threat. I hear them to call me worse. By reaching tier six of the Buccaneer Infamy rank, you will go from completing tasks for others to running your own operation. Oh, snap. So he's a... the helm and unlocking your own pirate lair. What, so is he like a kingpin now? Sugar cane is easy to find, but turning it into something worth selling, now that's the hard part. Oh, snap, okay. As a secret smuggling ring, the helm will connect you to an underground black market. Attain exotic resources and refine them into a They got enough selling, it, selling that good stuff? To the highest I'm down. However, a pirate's greed knows no bounds, and transporting this desirable cargo will draw the attention of opportunistic rogues. True. To stay on top of the food chain. But what type of weapon is that? Key territories. Choose vital. I never knew Jack Sparrow had that type of weapon. And your operation as you claim your rightful place among pirate legends. Bro, they let those cannons go, bro. It's ridiculous. And I love the effects. Oh my god. Seize the opportunity. These are just some of the ways you'll leap into Skull and Bones' ever-evolving world. And many other surprises await. 
from a robust end game to new challenges, free seasonal content, and additional oh, PvP snap. activities. Bro, I can see this game doing really good, bro. Honestly. Now, prepare to sail the perilous waters. Wait, so this is coming out in February? Fearsome pirate kingpin. This is nice. This is nice, bro. This is nice. I wasn't too sure at first, but this is nice, man. Shout out to Ubisoft, man. Shout out to Ubisoft. This is nice. Well done. Well done, man. Shout out to Ubisoft, man. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about Skull and Bones? See you guys later for the next one. I'm out.